What up y'all, back again. Today I wanted to go over negative entities and how they uh, affect and are attached to the narcissist and how they use the narcissist to uh, destroy you, attack you, and ways to avoid it. And, and just to give you a little understanding of what's really going on, because you know, when you're dealing with these individuals, you're dealing with the spiritual realm. It's not them that you're really inherently dealing with at the end of the day when it comes to all the destructive mechanisms that are in place to, to, to and the pitfalls to attack you. There, there's no reason for individuals to a, attack innocent people like this without something orchestrated in the spiritual realm. The more that they devour you, the stronger that they will become. Okay, and they know this and, and they pursue this kind of, this is really where their relationship is with you. Their relationship is with you is is you think it's it's because they love you, they want to get to know you, they want to be with you. Because that's just the reality of what humanity's like. These guys are not like that. Uh, they're out here, they're out here to for power, control, energy, draining, and destructive uh, ways that they can manipulate humanity. That's where they feed because they have done something that has got them intertwined with something not of this dimension, okay? That is very uh, malevolent and it does not like humanity, okay? I'll just leave it there. Hey, if y'all on, give me a like, y'all. Give me a subscription. Love y'all. Peace. Bye. They believe, man, this is what these things make them to believe. See, they get so intertwined with these things, they don't even know what, that they're actually dealing with these things sometimes. But, you know, they make them feel more uh, superior than uh, the human, human race. And then use them as a device, basically, to tap into you and to drain you. Because they feel like, you know, humanity and you and I are below them, right? We all know this. They believe they're kings and queens, they're the rulership, and we're the cattle of the field. Or, or the beast of the field, and, and it's really the opposite. Or that we're like some object that they can pick up and put down. Uh, that in itself should get you to, to leave the narcissist, but I understand that that uh, how it works because I'm one of y'all. I've been through this, and that's why I started this channel, because I'm passionate about bringing back strength to the empath and, and awareness, especially when uh, you wake up to dealing with this at the age of 40 something, man. It's ridiculous that they don't have, they don't teach this stuff because it is spiritual and they don't want to address the spiritual in the world we live in today. Okay, because really the negative spiritual is what rules the world today. And that's why they don't want to even let on to it. But uh, the, the strong oppress the weak, that's what they believe, okay? And you're, you're considered the weak, meaning everybody out here that doesn't have the uh, dark energy that they have. Okay, and so... Uh, that they're the strong that and but but that's what they're twisted up into believing through gaslighting themselves they're more gaslit than you ever were uh but what they're doing is is everything that they're doing to you is just an extension of what's going on to them you know they're trying to out to destroy you control you manipulate you and get you attached and corded into them uh, plugged in yeah they want to plug into you because that's what happened to them they got plugged into corded into they're used as an object by the the enemy and the entities that are in them and they're just continuing it and that's why it becomes not only a uh, predatorial but but parasitic as well you see that's the pathway they're just doing the pathway that the parasite that attached them it, 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 it's it's still now it's going now the parasite is going through them and using the the their uh essence to attach to you and if they can control you uh fully then they're gonna get attachments off of you to feed them even more it's it's almost like um links in a chain uh they're a link and if they can attach to you and get you linked up then they're gonna then whatever that entity is the end of that that linkage is is sucking all that fuel or those those entities okay and so their uh their job is is it's almost like they feel like this is their job to, to to harvest energy off the weakness of humanity and so of course they pick the the, the greatest the brightest ones that's why they're at with you uh but they don't want you to know that so they're it's just an opportunity they're opportunistic okay and and they're also impulsive 
And so sometimes, you know, uh, you know, uh, they won't be targeting you, but I would say 90% of the time they are because there's a spiritual situation and anything that happens in the spirit realm is not by accident. Also, um, they're addicted. They're addicted to the manipulation of individuals. They got to manipulate it. Just there's, it's almost like an addiction. They can't, they just can't control themselves. They have no control over themselves. They're just being used. And it's not opportunity to man manipulate people. And and uh, through that arises, uh, you know, that they, they can't help but give in to the manipulating. There's no moral boundaries with them because, because when something like this takes you over, then, you know, it, it, uh, it completely controls you and, and they don't, care about morality at all they just care about the energy feeding and the destructiveness that it brings to you they absorb life force they absorb um vitality and your time your precious time you ever hear people say can i have you, uh, a little bit of your precious time they're right it is precious you don't have much of it when you think about it you'll be 40 if you're 20 before you know it the more drained you are uh you know the more disheveled the more weak it, it, it is what, you know, is the response of what they're doing to you, okay? And uh, this is how they, they, they find your energy weak points and they manipulate and, and exploit these weak points uh, in your life to control you, to manipulate you. Your weakness is their strength, right? That's why you're the opposite of them. They're opposite of you. They find chinks in your armor. They find... Uh, leaks in your energy fields, you know, because they can see your aura. They can see, see your spiritual, spiritual aura that's surrounding you, that protection, that system of protection. And they see where, let's see, whatever color it is to make it look strong, they're going to see where it's weak, you know, and, and they're going to, they're going to hit you in those areas. And those areas are going to be weaknesses that are unhealed to you. They're going to be unhealed childhood wounds they're going to be uh bad boundaries uh and 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 or insecurities which all could lead or stem from the un, uh, unhealed wounds okay initially so they they get you in the pursuit of them and, and then uh they get in your head and control your emotions they put you on shaky ground and uh every area of your life they start to uh make shaky that they they get you they get you in this all of this distrust that they're creating so you're trying to to understand where's the honesty in them where's the truth in them and and but there's all this distrust there's then it turns into rumination where you're thinking about them and you have split thoughts on them and you can't figure it out then you have anxiety and then depression then you have more vulnerability because you're getting drained of your energy and then the attacks become more increasingly and because you're more vulnerable okay and this is where you get sick they can get you jealous because you're starting to wear their energy and through the, then they're triangulating you and they're using lies and, and they lead to a breakdown as they consume all of your time and energy. It's all spent on this. This is always deception. It's always wickedness. It's always someone close to you in your camp. It's a wolf, y'all. And so anytime you're dealing with this, it's, it's a wolf in your camp that's close and you should know it. These are telltale signs, uh, information, on how they are doing, how well they are doing as far as how well they're destroying you. If you're disheveled, if you're weak, if you're depressed, all of that, they love it. As much as they will deny they love it, they love it. It's terrible, it's sad, and it's hard for us to fathom, but it's true. Negative reciprocity, this is what it leads to for all of us outside of the love bomb phase. Negative reciprocity is what they live on. And that's how they abuse you. They abuse you with negative reciprocity, meaning you put 100% of your fuel out there, you're doing 100% or 110%. You're doing whatever you can to help them, to help them, and they're giving you 20, 15 to 20%. And even that is not good because it's probably destructive in itself. It's not even helpful. And they get you running like that, and then they're breadcrumbing you, and then you're running faster, and you're trying to understand them. You're trying to understand the enemy so you can love the enemy. This is what it turns into. And then um, 
you know, you're not loving yourself. Whenever you get into negative reciprocity, it's because y'all don't love yourself. I've been there, y'all. I mean, so I'm just saying, I, I'm not trying to be hard. I'm just saying that this is the truth of the matter and being, having gone through it probably within five relationships over my life uh, and been, you know, almost utterly destroyed before I came back. The thing is, is we're resilient and they hate that, but we don't want to abuse ourselves. We want to grow and we want to grow up and grow tall and, and, and expand. And we can't expand with when we're in the presence of a narcissist. You're not in the presence of someone who loves you back is what it's getting at. Okay. They have ulterior motives at play and, and, you know, and they're out to destroy you. Uh, you know, they're jealous, they're deceitful individual, uh, and, you know, they're purposefully misleading you and to manipulate you. They control you, they drain you, and they puff up their ego through all of this. Uh, checking, checking them once, I always say. You know, in the love bomb, you check them once, you just disagree with them one time, you question them one time, you, you, you know, say something like, that was wrong, you know, you shouldn't have did that one time. Or you say no to them one time then you're in devalue mode right away. Uh, stuff starts to flip on you. And uh, this is when, you know, uh, now you're now you're gonna be devalued and they're very dangerous individuals. They start projecting onto you and this is what leads to them putting curses on your life. Listen to this. So um, the, that toxic energy that uh, that now they are, they're throwing onto you through projection is uh, it's so toxic that it will wreck your life. Because unbeknownst to you, unaware to you, uh, this destructive energy is is something that you're not used to. And you don't know how destructive it is because you're not the one that created it. They did. They flipped it on you when they, when they projected it onto you and you accepted it. And they took your energy and they threw their energy onto you. But they are doing such evil things that when you wear their energy, you will do things that are not they, they are very destructive to you, meaning you can get yourself in circumstances because that's the way this energy is. It's, it's very, very malevolent. And that's why when they wear this energy, they are so calculated when they're wearing it because they know how destructive it can be to them. And they also know that if they can calculate it right and calculate it right with you, that they can throw it off of them and put it onto you so that you will have to deal with the destructive energy and not them. It's not fair, but this is how it works. And this is why people can get in big, big trouble when they're around the narcissist because the narcissist is continuing to um, project their fuel onto you and their fuel is is them out there when they're not with you. When, when they are, they're manipulating you and, and, and it's witchcraft, but then they're out there cheating, lying, stealing, breaking down every other individual lying, manipulating all these other people, and then they throw all of that fuel on you. What do you expect it to do? You're gonna say things you wouldn't say. You're gonna uh, rage out. You're gonna be angry uh, at times when you shouldn't be. You're gonna be saying things and doing things and popping off. And this gets you in some brutal issues and in, in real situations. And that's why you can't be around them. And you don't even know what's going on, what's taken over, but this is what happens. They're very calculated. They throw it on you uh, and, and then you basically get sloppy with it because you don't know what you're dealing with until you wake up. I mean, if you were awoke to this, you would gray rock them and you wouldn't allow it to hit you. But at that point, you know what you're dealing with. I mean, they'll invoke and conjure up uh, entities, negative and more negative entities than they already have or to entice other ones to jump and, and to uh, attack you as well incantations, uh, spoken words, uh, you know, and any attempt to flip and to project and flip their energy onto you. This is cursing y'all. And they're already uh, the embodiment of witchcraft, but then they will uh, invoke spells and verbal charms, uh, you know, spoken and sung uh, rituals of magic. They, they do all of this. And, and then, uh, you know, formulated words written uh, designed to produce a particular event or an effect uh, negatively on you to destroy you. That's why they're with you, to destroy you. It causes adrenaline 
uh, from your emotional suffering, it gives them adrenaline. They're addicted to the adrenaline feed, okay? Your suffering feeds them. High emotional, uh, high uh, uh, emotionally, it will give them a high, okay? It'll emotionally give them a high when they see you suffering. And this is where they laugh, they're calm, or, you know, they'll give you smirks, and they're very pompous. And this is where they will break you down to your knees. They want your face flat in the dirt, man. And, and this is because they've already, they've already uh, knocked you down, they beat you down, and now you're just so weak and decrepit, you're, you're a sorry individual. But this is what you allowed, and you didn't know it. And you just wanted to love. This is where your love becomes weakness because you got to control your love and who you give it to. And you got to control who you hang out with and, and read the flags. Uh, what they hate, though, is when you're happy. That's what destroys them. When you're happy, independent, when you're whole, when you're whole, when you when you seek wholeness and you walk away from them, they have low. Listen to this. I, I looked into this, but when you have somebody with with low uh negative energy they have that that's malevolent spirits in them they have radiation waves that are electromagnetic that's why it can affect sometimes your equipment you know we always would say your electronics but also it'll affect not only your objects but it, it will go through objects and go through your body and it will uh, radiate and cause um, effects onto your your cells your brain cells okay and and this is because and that's what that rumination causes I mean, it's almost like you're getting radiated. It's like your brain's on fire, really, for a long time. And so, what they do is they can they, they attach to, you know, uh, you know, mental illness, depression. They 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 get you when you're sad, when you're depressed. Uh, they you become more vulnerable to negative dark forces, and they access you to to, to the point to where they can destroy you more. And that's why, that's one reason. So they feed off of you, and then when they knock you down to the ground, then they can destroy you with with witchcraft. Okay, I've already talked about this, but um, I just wanted to kind of go over it a little bit more. Because uh, these entities feed on human sadness and anger and all of this stuff. They can see your spiritual aura and defense system. It's almost like you have this, this bubble around you. And, and how strong it is. They say they can even smell uh, your weaknesses, these entities. But when you get, when, when what happened to them is they suffered some sort of trauma in young age, their aura got weak. They got weaker and weaker and unstable. And then they, this is where the demons, the demons get attracted to them first and then they attach to them and then they, then they get possession of them. They, you know, they can smell your weakness. They feel your spiritual system and they uh, need uh, energy, but they, they come to the weak energy, energetic people. And if you're a strong ener energetic individual, that's why they'll send the narcissist to break you down and to break you down first with your wellness, your health, and then your mental, okay? And that's what they do first before that they can really nail you and destroy you, okay? So if you're out there, uh, give me a like, subscription, and a thumbs up. I love y'all. Peace. We out.